Oh, come on, big guy, get down. I'm trying to do a show here. Come on. Oh! Oh! oh. I didn't, didn't see you there. So you've come back to learn the basic... <laughs> so, you've come back to learn the art of basic drawing, huh? Well, guess what? I'm socially awkward! So today, we're gonna be focusing on futurism. And now, let's give you a brief run back on what futurism is. First off, futurism started in the early 20th century in Italy. Um, it was supposed to depict in art the advantages and wonders of living in the future, um, because of the, you know, advancing technologies back then. And even to this very day, futurism is a very important style in art. In fact, it's branched off into several styles, but I'm not going to get into that. So first what we want to do is we want to depict what the future will look like. Alright, well, um, before we begin, uh, I'd just like to say a few things. First off, I'm not the wealthiest person in the world, but I did use sophisticated technology to rig a camera up here, right above me, so that you could see what I'm drawing in order to preserve maximum continuity, because last time I noticed that I wasn't showing and demonstrating my superior art skills, even though this is just basic drawing. It's hard for me to get basic, you know, I'm so, I'm such an intellectual that I have to, I have to purposefully dumb my skills down just to get slightly above basic. And now, I know, it's, it's so hard for me. But, anyway, let's get on with this. So you gotta, first off, uh, create a little outline in your drawing. Now, you could do this by either using a ruler, but... You, you could use rulers for a straight line. I'm an intellectual, I could draw perfectly straight by myself, thank you very much. Just, just use your imagination for this. Now, the next step is to find out where the light source comes from. And uh, I like to do this by putting a little dot uh, where some of the uh, places are, but you, it needs to be very fragile so that you can erase the dot first off. And then you could draw like invisible beams or whatever. It, it helps me. Well, it helped me when I was like two years old. All right, now. The next step is to make spots that are going to be shaded. You can obviously use the little light source I just showed you. <clears throat> okay, so the next step, and it's probably the longest step, is to apply color. And obviously you can go light um, in order to erase. Otherwise, yeah, don't go light if you're going all out, you know? It's your fucking life. Uh. Have you seen this? Uh, here, I'll just play the clip really quickly. If she breathes, she's a thought! What is that fucking saying? If she breathes, she's a thought? You know, I've been puzzled by that for a very long time. I had a discussion a while back with a friend that, uh, exclaims that if she if you don't want your woman to be a thought by that logic then you uh have to find a dead woman you have to pull her straight out of the morgue and fuck her i mean it could be hot you know but at least she's not breathing but you know some of us aren't really necrophiles so the thing about that is we were wondering how can we how can we find a living being who isn't breathing, who's a human female. So, we pulled up a little uh, thing on uh, Craigslist. We made a page a while back titled, If She Breathes, She's a Thought. And we said, looking for women who are hooked up to respirators because they're not breathing on their own. <laughs> Get it? Now the next part is to start blending and, you know, some, because of the shadows and the light source, uh, light's gonna seem a little different, and you might wanna use blending to make the shadows seem a little more, a little less solid, because the sun is really far away, and... Alright, make sure to just add in a bit more color, just to solidify. Here, I'm actually gonna give you a little preview on what I've been drawing. So this is what I've been drawing. 
This is what I've been talking about with shading. You want to get the shading, you know, as far away from the light source as possible. For the, as for the light source, you want to blend the colors in. That's what I meant by blending. And of course, if you want water, uh, you just need to like draw some lines that are the same color and deal with that later. Make sure to put some finishing touches on your drawing, like adding texture. I think that would work well. Like say you had a brick building and the material would be a little more coarse. So you might want to add that texture. Cunt. All right, now if you've taken any pride in your work, you would obviously sign it. So make sure to sign it. Okay. Uh, YouTube Red, more like YouTube Dead. If you've made it this far into the video, you're not only an OG on YouTube, but you have good behavior, and good behavior deserves to be rewarded. And now you might be wondering what the 3K stand for. It stands for the Cool Kids Club, and that's what you guys are. You're the cool kids, and you deserve to have a club. Now, I'm not going to start anything right now immediately, but later on in the channel, I will. But I'll tell you this, if you subscribe right now, you'll get 0% down payment on your next prostate exam.